Hey guys, Mutant Cowboy here. I just wanted to make a follow-up video to my last one, where I basically kind of ranted a little bit about Title Update 5 and, and what I hope from skill builds. The skill builds get a lot of hate for being unskillful, right? They, they, they get called cheese builds, or they get called, you know, in many cases, you know, they just get called scrubs or pussies. Um, and I, I just feel it's, it's crap, because if you go into the game currently, on the live game, try to use a skill build in PvP. To actually be successful, you need to be good. Because your build is so underpowered compared to any random other build. I just don't understand the hate for it. Like, I, I don't understand the hate for explosive damage skills, right? It's not like, as a gun build, when you aim at someone's head, they get a big red circle around them, telling them that they're about to get shot. You don't get a big red circle when someone's aiming at you with Nemesis. You don't get warned, you don't get told. If they're looking at your head and they pull the trigger, you're probably going to get one shot as a skill build. And if even if you're a, if you're a pure red stat build, you're going to get one shot. You have to have this specific, I'm running almost all blue stats to not be one shot by these things. Which kind of makes it, not kind of, really makes it unfair for a lot of us. Having a skill that is strong also comes with the negative of you are letting everyone know that you're about to get hit. Like, there is a giant red circle that says, you are about to get blown up. Roll away, get out of the way, you know? Very easy, very simple mechanic. So I, I don't understand the fact that everyone hates on skill builds, right? You just need to roll. Just move. Like, it, it's no one's fault that a skill killed you, except your own. You could have just easily rolled away. And there's also the fact that you can literally roll explosive resistance and hazard protection on your builds, right? You can avoid status effects by having by having hazard protection. You can avoid a lot of explosive damage just by rolling explosive resistance mods. I do feel the need that skills, and especially explosive skills, do need to have a substantial damage increase. Now, I don't exactly know what, what the end of Title Update 5 is going to be. Um, it's not really going to be known very well until they hit the live servers. Now, I do hope that it doesn't get nerfed too much. Um, I, know, I know a lot of people are complaining on, on, the, on the forums about skills being way too strong on the PTS. I, I just want to say that if you think they are too strong on the PTS, you also need to consider that, one, there probably are going to be slight adjustments, but two, people haven't adapted to any metas yet. Like, it took a while for people to adapt to clutch. It took a while for people to adapt to shotguns. It took a while for people to adapt to L LMGs. If you just go right out of the PTS and nerf the crap out of everything and only give this tiny little incremental bump to skills after all of this, this process, there's going to be no need for anyone to actually challenge the meta, right? If people aren't being forced to adjust their builds because of skills, then the whole thing is a failure. I just don't think it's fair that you know doing so little damage over a course of 10 or more seconds compared to a gun build who can easily just drop you in a quarter or half of a second. I mean, as a skill build, as a pure skill build, you literally have nothing but skills. Yeah, you're, you have a, a flat damage uh, from your gun, but your main focus is on trying to stay long enough for your skills to actually come into battle. And if you can't actually get your skills into battle, you're, you're worthless. You can't survive up close encounters like that. You have to stay back. And if you can just get, you know, two or three tap from across the freaking room or down the street that defeats the whole purpose of having any skills anyway. So all I'm saying is that with the PTS it needs to be looked at in the realm of how will players adjust to this in the future, right? Obviously if you have a assault turret that can drop players in like a second or if you have the uh, the drone that can just shoot players and, and kill them in two seconds while you know spinning around on top of them like that's a little bit extreme, right? We, we want to avoid having super easy, like, auto-targeting things that can just kill you like that. But when you have something like an explosive skill that actually leaves a radius that tells you, you know, like a grenade, that there's something about to happen and you can actively avoid it, I, I, I don't believe that having a good amount of damage on that is overpowered. It just requires you to roll out of the way, and that's it. I understand there's a lot of hate for it, but if you have no health rolls, if you have no armor rolls, a fully kitted out seeker mine or bomb drone should probably be able to one tap you. Any investment, maybe even like having one or two health rolls is all you need to survive a maxed out seeker. Like that seems fair to me, right? I mean, and if you have like fully maxed out health and armor, 
than having two or three you know skills attack you before you you know are dropped that that seems you know pretty fair too because that's your whole purpose you're a tank if you go beyond this if you go beyond having you know now with no health no armor it takes you know four or five skills to kill someone that's ridiculous because that that literally takes you a minute as a skill build to kill someone and that's not fair i've actually already begun my my anti skill build for uh, title update 5 when it goes live what i can honestly say is that if the skills um, in in the pts come over i'm more than positive that they will not be the incredible danger that everyone fears them to be if you actually build against it that being said if skills only get a slight bump and i use this build skills will pose an even less threat than they did before title update 4 so if, if if skills come over in a state that's not that's only slightly stronger than than the current title update 4 meta um, they're just they're not even going to be worth it I, I will be able to basically just avoid pretty much all explosive damage and not even really have to worry about it. So they do need a substantial increase um, from the current live game. Maybe not as strong as it is currently in the in Title Update 5, but they do need some sort of buff. Now, I'll be honest, I don't want 80% of players to use the skill build. Because guess what, that's not fun. It wasn't fun when people were using Clutch. It wasn't fun when everyone was hip firing LMGs. It wasn't fun when everyone was using Nemesis or the uh, 700. It's just, when you have everyone using the same thing, it is not fun, okay? I want diversity. I want to have a plethora of different builds, right? I want everyone to be different builds. I want people to play the way they actually want to play and enjoy the way they want to play. I hate, I absolutely hate the bandwagon PvP players. And if you've seen the channel, I avoid metas and I've been using skills basically since launch. Well, not, I've used skills in Division 1. Like that was my bread and butter. Skills, skills, skills. And in this one, I mean, I'll be honest, I've suffered because of my stubbornness. My KD ratio isn't as high, you know, as if I would be using a pure gun gun build and if I would just be using meta builds. But I would honestly really be pissed off if my skill builds of choice um, end up becoming this total 80% of player meta. Because guess what? Like, I, since I don't like to play the meta, I would have to stop using skill builds. So I'd have to end up going back to some sort of gun-based uh, DPS build which I don't enjoy because it's either play the meta or play a skill build and I you know I I can't I, I don't want to be the meta guy right I don't like it I like being the anti meta guy because that's where I find the fun at so basically I do not want skill builds to be ruined by a meta because they become OP I just want them to be competitive like any other build right I, I, I want to see you know some more skill builds in PvP of course but I don't want to see half of every team being skill builds. I don't want to see three out of four on the team being a skill build. Currently, I mean, I, I've gone, I, if you saw some of my earlier videos, I think I went like 12 and 0 with just using grenades, you know, like the first month of launch. Just using grenades, 12 and 0 in, in skirmish, right? Like I was dominating with just grenades, but very rarely been a point in time with the game that I've actually been able to have very successful skill build matches. I've, I've had a few um, that were probably mostly luck and me stealing some kills, but it's very difficult. They're, they're just not as competitive, which is why I want them to be bumped. If you think that skills don't require talent, you know, actually go into, go into, go into skirmish. Fight everyone who's running an LMG, shoddy, AR, marksman rifle, or regular rifle. You know, just go in there as a skill build and see how you do. Tell me how how, uh, how much skill you know you don't need to run a skill build currently, right? If you're one of the players who thinks that you should not have to change your build to fight skill builds, uh, I can easily just say, why should I have to f change my skill build to fight a, a gun-based player? The game is fundamentally about countering the other types of, of builds that you come across, the other types of builds that players use. It's about developing strategies and developing, you know, methodology to fight them and beat them. If there's no reason to need counters, if there's no reason to run, you know, explosive damage resistance, if there's no reason to run hazard protection, if there's no reason to run health or armor, what's the point? Diversity happens when you require players to change up their builds, when you require players to change up their playstyles, when you require players to use skills that they might not normally use. 
which is what I really hope Title Update 5 brings. I hope we see a lot of things that we didn't see and that we haven't seen since this game launched. I mean, I'm hoping we see turrets. I'm hoping we see fire turrets. I'm hoping we see, you know, more, regu more, more regular drones, more bomb drones. I really hope we see the uh, Airburst Seeker because that thing is in a whole heap of garbage. But I mean, I hope we see these things. Uh, Firefly was, was a good improvement. That, that seemed to bring a lot of positive focus on skill builds. Um, I think it's a little bit um, unfair looking at it right now just because of the fact that it's the only one that's been improved. And you could easily say, well, it's, it's become everywhere. It's, it's gone viral. And it, that's, that's fair just because it's the only one that's actually been improved so far. But I'm definitely hoping that as they improve these other skills, as they bring these online with Title Update 5, that we will see a huge diversity in, in the skills. We will see all of the skills used in some way or another because people will want to use them. People will try to use them. People will want to like think outside the box, will want to actually have great ideas with how to build for a skill build, with how to make uh, a actual DPS build that you, you know might have some sort of skill synergy, or a tank build, right? You know, an actual proper shield carrying tank build that doesn't just go down after a blast of a shotgun. I'm hoping we see a lot of variety and a lot of different play styles um, because of the positive changes that they bring to skill builds. All right, guys, that'll do it for this video. Remember, please help me build the channel. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, tell me what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.